Hey, what's going on? I'm Jeffrey with Grill and Smoke Barbecue. Today, we're gonna do a little mail call that leads into the cook. So, I uh, got some uh, samples from a dead bird barbecue out of Oklahoma. And they were nice enough, first of all, to send me a sticker, which is, makes my first sticker. So, I'm gonna put this on my smoker. Better yet, I'll probably end up getting a, making a board and putting it on there. So when I get other stickers, I can just have a board full of stickers. And no, I don't have stickers because I'm kind of debating where I'm going to keep my logo right now. I'm going to change it up. So I don't want to get some stickers and then change it and be like, you know, I just wasted my time with these stickers. So once I make up my mind, I'm going to also get some stickers and I'll be more than happy to exchange with people. So what they sent me, one is their all-purpose rub, which has salt, sugar, butter, natural butter flavor, some spices, onions, garlic. The steak and beef rub, which has um, paprika, salt, onions, garlic, and spices. The Kicking chicken rub, which has brown sugar, paprika, salt, garlic, onions, dry molasses, um, spices. And the perfect pork rub, which has sugar, brown, sorry. Yeah, regular sugar, brown sugar, salt, paprika, dry molasses, onions, garlic, natural hickory smoke flavor, citric acid, and some spices. So today, like I said, that's gonna lead into the cook. So what I'm gonna do today, so I can sample the perfect pork rub, I'm gonna do a kind of Memphis style dry rib. So I'm gonna take a St. Louis style spare. You know, Memphis, they usually do a mop or something on their ribs. I'm not gonna do a mop, I will spritz, but I'm gonna try to just keep it plain and just that rub. And y'all know, if y'all watch the channel, I love to put sauce on stuff. So, <sighs> won't be any sauce today. I'm gonna try my best not to sauce these today. So, let's get this Memphis style dry rib going so we can sample this rub. Let's do it. All right, so first things first, I had an old shaker bottle. Now I removed the label, what I had in it. Now I put their rub in here that I'm gonna use. So I'm not gonna use any binders or anything. Just gonna go ahead and season it with their Perfect pork rub. And it actually smells good. So that's promising. And then we're going to flip this and get the other side. And I've already uh, took the membrane off of the back. And I bought it a uh, St. Louis cut, so I didn't have to do that. I'm gonna try not to use all the rub on here right now because at the end, I wanna be able to put some more on here. So this should be a pretty quick cook today. Um, those who've seen me do ribs before know I usually wrap it, put it in butter and honey and other things. With me doing it Memphis style, I'm not wrapping today. It's just gonna be straight smoke all the way through. 
I'm gonna do it at 250. Estimates probably gonna take about four hours to get this done. So while this sits here, sweats, absorbs those flavors, I'm gonna go ahead and get the pit boss ready. And we're gonna go on and get it on here. See the color? The color's really good on it. And we're just gonna get it on here. And of course, you put it on the way you want it to come out. So we try to straighten the bones as much as possible. And we'll be back probably about an hour to give it a good spritz. Okay, so they've been on for two hours now. Take a look at them. Alright, so mark is set. We're gonna go on the spritz set with some apple juice and apple cider vinegar. another check on this. Alright, the color looking nice. Bones start, the meat starting to pull back from the bones. I'm going to go ahead and spritz it one last time. Next time I see it, should be ready to take it off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and top this with some more of this rub. And there you have your Memphis style dry rib using the dead bird 180. Now I just need to cut it and do a taste test. Okay, so let's get the taste in. So as you can see, it's a very nice color on it. You see the smoke ring, it's very nice. So, so far, so good. Now let's taste this rub. Clean bite, right off the bone. Mmm. Wow, I have to say, that rub, dead bird, <laughs> man, if y'all ever make ambassadors for y'all products, <laughs> I'm just saying, think about me. <laughs> this is cool. Mmm. Tender, juicy, and that rub, it, pardon me for talking while I'm eating, but... Man, that rub is amazing. Yeah, whew, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. You can taste like just explosive greatness in that rub. If you ever get a chance, check out Dead Bird Barbecue. I'm gonna put their own website down in the description. Hey, so far, they got a great product. Now I understand what DB180 stands for because 180 is the score you get in competitions and that's like perfect. And that rub, hey, it is perfect. It's great. Probably one of the best rubs I have ever tasted. Um, but now that that's done, back to my business. 
Thank you for joining me today on Grill and Smoke Barbecue. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, hey, go ahead and subscribe. Smash that like button, ring that bell so that you know when I'm posting content. And until next time, peace.